Early this morning, Unity released a security alert about Unity versions going all the way back to 2017. If you opened up the hub, you probably saw something like this stolen screenshot telling you that there's a security alert for everything that you've got. Now, this is easy to address, but it is something that you need to do pretty quickly, I think. Now, the way that this exploit works is by the malicious actor running software on the same platform as your game. So it could be either on Android or Windows. Think of a Steam game. And it can steal the context of your game and the security permission. So it could steal data from your game or run code that hasn't been allowed. So you know how you allow permissions on your device, this could take those permissions and then run whatever arbitrary code they want. So if your game has lots of permissions, they could be taking advantage of that. Now, of course, the other person has to install the malicious software and they have to run it, but that is a security risk. And you've seen a lot of games on Steam, or at least I've seen this morning, a lot of games on Steam updating to address this. Now, how to address it is actually relatively simple. You've got two options, either run a patch tool that they've provided that will update your previous versions of the game with without having to do a full rebuild or upgrade your Unity version to the latest ones that are available, these F2 builds that you'll see in the Unity editor. So make sure that if you're building a game in Unity, you go in and update it. And then if you already have a game out there, either build and release a new version of it, which is what I'm doing for Android right now, or go in and run the patcher against it and then send that update out. Now the full details of how this exploit works are laid out here in the developer remediation guide. You can read through the whole thing, but most of you probably aren't really gonna care and just wanna get your game up Updated and get that done as quick as possible. Also, you could go watch the Games for Scratch video where he reads through this and describes it in detail, but I think the most important part is that you know that it's there, you know that you go update it, and you know why all of your Unity Hub Editor stuff is looking bright red and know what to do. So just go grab the latest version that has the fixes, and again, this goes back to 2017 and includes a ridiculous number of builds. Well, because it's all of the builds back there, you can see all the way back and all the way up to Unity 6.3. And of course, it's no fun to deal with bugs like this, but it's important that you pay attention to them and get them updated. And I've seen that it looks like they're in contact with Google and Steam to make sure that these updates get pushed out as quickly as possible so that you don't have to wait for the standard somewhat long time that occasionally happens. Anyway, if you haven't updated yet, make sure that you go update now. And if you've got a game out there in production, start looking at your options, either grab the patcher, run that, or just do a new build if you can and update your game. I want to keep this quick and to the point, so if you have any questions about it, just read through the guide or hop onto the forums. There's a couple posts about it where you can ask any questions that may not be clear, but it's pretty straightforward. Go update your game and update your Unity Editor right away.